All right, next we have a splice right here. Longer walls tend to have some splices. When we set this log down, we lined it up with the plunge cut underneath. So we want to make sure that these are lined up like that. But uh, if you have a claw, a claw hammer with a semi-curved claw, you can sharpen that on a grinder. You can kind of get it right in the crease of the log there. You can use it to pry logs. For splices, we'll do kind of the same thing as corners. We'll come in as flat as possible. And, uh, and to try to minimize twisting, sometimes they like to twist and roll a little bit. So you can see this log rolled, rolled a little bit this way. So what I could do is I could go and loosen this a little bit, put one in from this side. And that will actually hold it in place. Um, so it's a little bit offset there, it's very minimal. And then you can see here you'll have a nice, this should line up pretty well. We'll have peeled it down like this in pre-assembly to have a nice smooth transition. 